Miguel certainly has some of that famous Latin stamina. I'm quite exhausted. We underestimated Catalina's plans for Spank. It reaches far beyond the Yardies selling it on the street corners. The cartel have a front company, the Kappa Coffee House. They've been selling Spank through the street stalls. We have no choice but to put these drug stands out of operation. Smash them ah. to splinters! Ah. for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEP-OFF-LARD or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new my Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, well, that's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lavo. Is that your real name? Uh, of course it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? <laughs> uh, no, I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a fake radio name like Andy or Bobo? I thought all those radio people had fake names. Do you have a question or you just want to sit here and talk all day about my name? No, that's it. Love the show, Laszlo. Or Mark. Or John. Or Bethany. Whatever your name is. All right, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. What is on your mind? Turnips. Fruit vegetables. You know, albino carrots, as they're known back home. Okay, here's the deal. This isn't gardening with Maurice. That's on later. No, he got taken off the air. He lied. I know he did. I've been trying to make a hybrid of a peach and a Pekingese midget fat bitch for the last two years. And it is impossible. Impossible, I tell you. Okay, and speaking of impossible, Jane from Cedar Grove is on the line, and she wants to talk about how difficult it is being a parent today. Hello, Jane. Hi, Laszlo. I love the show. I'm a first-time caller. I wanted to say something about these video games. They are warping our kids' minds. My son's dog, Hugo, got hit by a truck, and he says, Mommy, Mommy, where's the reset button? Kids these days, they think life is a game. Well, it's not a game, Lazo. It is very, very serious. I let my kids play video games, and now he runs around the house looking for gold coins. This is teaching our children to go to get money. My little fans is playing this new video game called Pogo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that one. The shop teacher called today, and Sam made a homemade banana can in shop class and was lobbing them across the street at a fast food restaurant. And it's all because of video games. Lazlo, life does not have a reset button. Right, but this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Love Media, bringing people and the finest in entertainment together. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. I want to talk about that bank stuff. Don't say it's bad. It's not bad to you at all. Why aren't you talking? Please come straight. Why don't you? Hello? It's me, Pansy. 
What's your question? Bank, 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 bank. What about it? I mean, that's not really a question. Questions usually start with words like how and why, and, and they end with your voice going up like this. Don't mock me. I know where you work. You're just another rat. How's that? Or it's all you say. It's too safe. They use it to control us. Why do you think all the commercials tell you fresh twice a day? And what book have you been reading that tells you that toothpaste is evil? Tetris, the devil, and the great cavity cover up. I just don't think about them. You've seen what I've seen, and if you've heard what I've heard, you'd never brush your teeth again. I suppose you're one of those people that says that diet soda makes you go crazy later in life. I told you before, man. Go watch me. My taxes pay your salary, you can be. Sir, uh, this is a commercial radio station owned by Love Media. Advertising revenue paid my salary. And on that note, it's been two full minutes since a commercial. But I'd like to say, if anyone else is stressed, might I recommend Equinox from Zaibatsu Pharmaceuticals? We'll be back after these important messages. Hello! I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything. After trying Equinox, I'd been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is new from Zybatsu Pharmaceuticals. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox can help launch a loss of sleep or vision. Which can involve the female ladies. Do not take Equinox if you're operating in machinery, right? Car, right? And a job or an age on the other hand, and then you Equinox, softening life's harsh reality. Tonight, the TV event that will make history, Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, equip them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Blimp, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through the window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even notice I didn't even hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. The game doesn't end until there's only one man left standing. Tune in nightly or watch the 24-hour live webcast. Liberty City Survivor. Natural Selection has come home. Sponsored by Ammunition. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Call us on the Chatter Line to tell us what's on your mind. Line four, you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Liberty City Cox rule! Ah, that's lovely, thanks. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. That last guy was so full of crap. Everyone knows women are made from sand. Okay, great. Another lunatic. head. Hello, next caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and attitude. Well, you know, you'd have an attitude, too, if you couldn't reach the friggin' cheesy squirrels at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it seems like the whole world's against you. I mean... You know, we're not talking about you. What kind of egomaniac are you? You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? World of Oh, I'm so off. I'm so important. Listen to me talk about my golf stuff. I think I'll put this in the top shelf. Hey, what's the weather like down there? How's it going, short stuff? Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, Pee Wee? Who do you think you are? Short people are people, too. All right, another award-winning show on Chatterbox. Today we're talking about anything, it seems. If you have something to say about anything, call now. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. Love hearing people's opinions. That's what made this country great. People, opinions, and stuff. Most of all, the guns. I had a people whine about guns that kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask a doctor. It's a medical fact. You can't die from a bullet. You can die from a cardiac arrest or organ failure or major hemorrhage. It's a small piece of metal ain't a problem. Besides, I only use my machine gun in the safe of my own home or car. I ain't hurt nobody. And countries that don't have guns ain't American. You know, that's a really good point. The countries that don't have guns aren't American. You know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shootings in this country. <sighs> All right, we're going over here to line two. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, I'd like to say something about taxes. You mean the Lone Star State? Oh, taxes. Well, you know, look, it, taxes are really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. And now this Hey, tell you. Temperature is super high